In this video, we're going to create this nice looking comic effect. So let's start. Okay guys, so let's start. So first I'm going to create a document which is 850 width and 645 height. I'm going to press create and we're going to start from here. So first create a new layer. I'm going to name it background. And then delete this one here, the original background. And then here, go to the gradient tool from the toolbox, click on it, and then click on the color of it. And the first box, put it at 777777 color, which is a gray color. Press OK and put it at the beginning, location 0. And at location 100, put it at C5, 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 which is also like a lighter gray color. Press OK and then OK. And then with the plus sign here, click once on top and hold shift to make it a straight line and pull it down and you'll have this. And then after that, go to filter and then go to distort and then go to wave. And here, make sure you have the number of generators as 5, minimum 28, 29, 998, 999, 100, 100. You will have this kind of straight looking lines. Press OK and you'll have this. So get the move tool and press on it and then press Ctrl T to enlarge it and just make sure it starts with the dark gray and ends with the light gray. So just enlarge it slightly so it starts with the gray color, move it. I think this looks fine. Press enter and after that go to filter and then distort and go to polar coordinates and then make sure you put it at rectangle to polar and press OK and you will have this. And after that we need to add some colors so go to adjustment layers and add a gradient map. And on the gradient map click on the colors and make sure you put the first color you put it 003876 which is a blue color, a dark blue color. Press OK and then click on the second box, double click on it, and put it at 00B5E9. Press OK, and you'll have like a lighter blue. So the first box, click on it once, and the location put it at like 24, so it becomes a little bit darker. And make sure both boxes on top are 100% opacity. Press OK, and the first step is done. We finished the background, and it looks nice. So the next step is to put the picture. Okay, so here's the image. Now we need to go to the quick selection tool from the toolbox. Just hold here and you will find it, quick selection tool. And here there's something called select subject. So just click it and it will directly identify the people and the carpet. And zoom in, you would find that it's not all selected, like this area here and this area here. So with the circle with the plus sign inside, just add this area and add this one, add this one, and add this red area here. And this piece of sand here, I don't want it in the selection. So hold Alt and you'll get the minus sign and just remove this area and remove this small area here and add this one here. And I think this is a good selection. So press Ctrl J and you'll have a new layer with the selection only, like this one here. And now delete the old layer and let's name the new layer People. So after you're done with that, press Ctrl T to scale and transform and just enlarge it slightly and place it properly like this in the middle. Press enter and when you're done with that, you have to create a new copy. Press Ctrl J so you'll have people copy and with people copy, go to filter, filter gallery and go to artistic and poster edges, click on it and put the edge thickness at 0, 10, and 2. And press OK, and you'll have this nice effect. And now we need some adjustment layers. So go to this sign here, click on it, and add brightness and contrast. So we'll add the first adjustment layer. So put the brightness at minus 40, and the contrast put it at 82, and then Go to the layers and right click on the brightness and contrast and create clipping mask so it will only affect people copy we don't want it to affect the background and now add another adjustment layers and another brightness and contrast 
and this time let's put the brightness on minus 68 and the contrast on like 49 and let's go back to the layers and right click on it and create clipping mask so it will only affect people copy and now let's go to the mask of brightness and contrast 2 and press ctrl i to switch the white to black mask so you can see it's a little bit lighter now and now get the brush and put it on white and let's just make the areas here on the left darker So after that, I think I'm gonna enlarge everything. It will look better, I think. So click on this layer, shift this layer, so it will select all of these, and press Ctrl T, and just enlarge it slightly to look nicer. Press Enter. And after that, I'm gonna add another adjustment layers, which is Vibrance. Click here, then go to Vibrance, and add 100 Vibrance, and maybe like five saturation. So you see the effect now, it looks nicer. So then go to layers and let's go to the vibrance and right click on it and create clipping mask so it will only affect people copy. Okay, so after that go to people copy and right click on it and go to blending options and add a stroke and make sure you put it at three and the position is outside and press OK and then you can see the stroke on the outside. You can get the eraser and actually just make it straighter, make it look better by just erasing a little bit here on the sides. I think this looks fine. So after that, just go to People Copy and press Ctrl J and it will have another copy of People Copy and then name it Filter. And when you name it filter, put the blend mode on color dodge. And it will have this kind of bright effect. So right click on it and create clipping mask so it will only affect people copy. And then place it on top of everything. And now we need to add some colors. So you can go to the paintbrush and change the color of the foreground to 9A60. C3 which is like a purple color press ok and while you're on filter you can just color this area make sure the opacity is 100 and just color this area very neatly this looks nice and now get that another color I'm gonna put maybe E06 F 00 which is like an orange color press ok and then you can paint the shirt of the guy. So when you paint with the orange color with color dodge, it will appear as red. Okay, so the next step is go to people and press Ctrl J and place it on top of everything else. And I'm gonna name it filter two. And in filter two, you need to put it at multiply and then go to the foreground color and make sure it's zeros, which is black. And the second color, make sure it's FFFFFF, which is white. And press OK. And now go to Filter. And then go to Filter Gallery. And then go to Sketch. And go to Photocopy. And make sure the detail is 2 and the darkness is 50. Press OK. And you'll have this nice effect. So if I remove it, you can see it adds a little bit more details. So if you want to make it look better with the same layer, you can go to Filter and then go to stylize and press on diffuse and make sure you put it on this one here and press ok and you can see it adds a little bit more sharpening so it will look better okay so let's go to the other step which is adding a new layer and i'm gonna name this layer half tone okay so after you add half tone make sure you go to the paint bucket and put a white color press ok and then paint everything with white and then go to filter and go to noise and add noise and make sure you put it at 100 the amount and press ok and you will have this noisy looking picture so then you can go to filter pixelate and then color half tone and make sure you put uh, the max radius at 4 and everything else at 45 and press ok 
and it will turn into circles. And this one you can go to the blend mode and put it at multiply. And you will have this nice looking effect. So you can actually decrease the effect by putting the opacity at kind of 67. This looks nice. Okay. So now let's go to the next step, which is adding an adjustment layers brightness again. So let's go to the adjustment layers and adding another brightness. And let's put the brightness at 70 and the contrast about maybe 61. So it will make it a little bit lighter. So after this one, we need to add this picture here and then just rotate it holding shift horizontally and enlarge it holding alt to make it proportional and put it at overlay and you can see the effects and I think it will look better for the background. And now we need to add some speech bubbles. So let's go to the circle tool from here and make sure you put it on shape, not the other two and make sure you put the fill on white, the stroke on black and the size of the stroke on five and make sure you put this one here on combined shapes. So draw the circle you want. And then after that, get the pen tool and make sure you have the same options, which is shape, white, black, and five. And here, make sure you put it on combined shapes. So now the pen tool will connect with the circle. So just draw a small triangle here. And you can see they connected together. And now let's get the text tool and let's write amazing view and let's place it in the middle and make sure it's black color so it will appear. And this looks nice and now we need to add something for the man so let's get the circle tool again and let's draw a small circle here and a bigger one here and a big one here and let's write inside it with the text tool maybe wow with an exclamation mark and let's make it smaller and place it inside this looks nice and now we need to add something on the bottom part so get the pen tool and draw from here and hold shift and click here and then here and close it and make sure the fill is on something yellowish and the stroke is black and the size is five again and after that let's write something inside the yellow box I'm gonna write release tomorrow and I'm gonna place it inside the yellow box make it small this looks fine just place it properly and I'm gonna do some changes here so the half tone I'm gonna put it at 45 I think it looks better and the filter here I'm gonna put it at maybe 80 so it will look less bright and after you've done everything just press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E all together and you'll combine all the layers into one layer. And this layer, just right click on it and go to Blending Options and add a stroke. You can see here. So I placed it at Inside and the size is 8. Press OK and you'll have this done. So it's one image. You can place it wherever you want. You can put it in a comic book or whatever you like. So we're done.